You didn't see me cut anything, right? Magic cut. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Magic Cut in Power Director Ultimate. So let's jump right into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And I need you to let me know in the comment section below if you trust Magic Cut to edit footage or would you rather do it all yourself. Let's get everyone up to speed by doing a little Magic Cut 101. Magic Cut automatically corrects problems experienced during shooting by analyzing the footage and selecting the best video scenes. It looks for pan and zoom shots, dialogue, faces, moving objects, and more while trying to determine the appropriate video clip length. Then, Magic Cut uses that information along with the parameters you select to create a professionally edited movie. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. As you can see, I have a clip of a basketball game in the timeline. And I want this to be quickly edited into a small summary of the game. So I'm going to use Magic Cut to get that done. I'll select the clip by left clicking on it with my left mouse button. Then I'm going to go over to the Magic Tools button and I'm going to left click on that. Then I'm going to left click on Magic Cut. So now the Magic Cut dialog box opens and we end up on the Duration tab. So under the Duration tab, there's several things that we can change. You see the original duration of the clip is around 29 seconds. So we can create the new duration based on the amount of time that we want. And let's say I want it to be five minutes. The next thing that we can change is our transitions. So we can auto apply transitions when possible by making sure that this box is enabled. And then we also have some choices for the types of transitions that we want to use. So if I click on this drop down arrow here, you see that I can choose to have all fades, I can have random, and I can have the favorites that I have selected in the transitions room. Now, I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm going to choose random. Uh, usually I would use fade, but I'm going to choose random here to make it easier to see the transitions. And then the last thing that we can do on here is we can add music. So if I click on the add music button, it opens up a screen and I can go to any location on my computer to select music and add it. If I do add music, which I'm not going to do for this, I'm going to click on cancel. So if we do add music, it will enable this button and we can go ahead and fit the clip to the duration of the background music. So that's everything under the duration button. So let's go ahead and jump to the criteria button. This is where the magic happens. Use a slider or the plus and minus buttons to tell Magic Cut what type of scenes you want to have in your clip. So let's go into each one and talk a little bit about them. So first you have scenes with pan and zoom. So this creates scene selection based on the degree of zooming and panning. And I'm gonna drop this down to the bottom there. And then we have scenes with moving objects. So this creates scene selection based on the degree of moving objects. And I'm going to leave this where it's at. And then we have scenes with people. So this creates the scene selection based on people being in the scene. I'm going to move this down one. I could leave it at zero if I want to, but I'll move it down one. Now, then we have scenes with people speaking. 
and it's detect scenes selection based on the extent of dialogue and i'm gonna move this all the way down because i don't care whether people are speaking or not and then we have the duration of scenes and this splits the original video and the clips depending on your preference of longer or shorter clips and i'm going to move this up now that i'm done selecting the criteria i just need to click on preview when I click on preview, Magic Cup will analyze the clip and build a preview based on the selections that we made, and then it will begin to play the preview. And I think that's enough of a preview for you. But when you're happy with the results, then all you need to do is click on apply to apply it to the timeline. And I'm gonna click on view entire movie so we can see it all. And you see each one of these clips that is split it up into and you can see the transitions between each one. And that is it, you have your magic cut, professionally edited movie. All right, Power Director peeps, I wanna thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I wanna send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Steel Talon. Steel Talon makes motorcycle and drone videos. So if you like motorcycles and you're into drones and aerial footage, head on over to his channel, watch a few of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to receive a shout out like Steel Talon did, make sure you head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and after you do that click on the bell when you click on the bell you receive notifications every time i upload content to youtube and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun thanks for watching we'll see you again soon